Good evening, everybody. I am Shadow of Order, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. It's time for episode two. <laughs> that ending. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Huh? Only. What? Oh, non lethal. What? Well, that's different. Huh. Let's try it. It can't be impossible. Uh, no. I just got through with it. I mean, I was whinging about Sunday day on that Tokyo Cafe. What could be better? I was whinging about 1999 though, but honestly, I just had to get good, which I did. But you're about to be. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's how it ended. Paris. Mademoiselle? Yes. Quel est votre nom? Oh, I'm Elizabeth. All right. Vous, Elizabeth. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. I... I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Oh, thank you. Huh? Oh, that's why non-lethal. Because she's a coward and she can't kill anything. Oh. Bonjour, Monsieur Serrat. Uh, bonjour, Mademoiselle Elizabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. Nothing good to paint today. I can't run. All right, that's. Bonjour, Hello. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Nothing to say. Got some out of theater. Oh, birds. Why they're pink va, birds? Elizabeth? There's a tower. Bonjour, Elizabeth. A lot of painters. <laughs> oh, it's that same model. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Bonjour. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? Bien le bonjour, mademoiselle. Ça va bien? So I'm assuming she's been here a while. <laughs> Bonne journée, mademoiselle. Oh wow, you're a messy one. Now to be fair, I mean, it don't matter if you're that messy when you're that good. Bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Huh. Bonne journée. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? Oh. Which way am I supposed to go? I want to go the other way. Bonjour. Kind of want to go the other way now. I saw something. I gotta admit, this is nice. If only I could actually move faster than a snail's pace. Go. Yeah. No bad worse. Oh wow. Bonjour, mon petit trésor. Je vais te croquer. Oh, a child. Ugh, oh, look at that face. Looks like they took an adult face and they all shrunk it down. Eh, modeling kids' faces. Bonjour. Hello. Oh, nice little park. Now, how? Oh, giddy. 
And what I wonder is how the heck could Elizabeth enjoy this after killing Booker the Wick? I mean, in like the first one. Honestly, though, Booker dying in. I mean, Comstock Booker dying in the first burial, let's see. A little iffy about that. I mean, by the. Yeah, he had done bad things, but by the end of it, he'd become. Booker DeWitt again. He'd like snapped out of being Comstock. Like that one act of getting that child killed. That like snapped him out of it. He realized, oh no, what have I become? And he became good guy Booker DeWitt again. You know, like, like, guy starts as good, becomes evil, realizes what a horrible thing he's done, and comes back to being good. And then he gets a drill through the chest. I mean, oh, come on. He was a good guy again. God dang it. He rediscovered who he really was. He wasn't Comstock. He was Booker DeWitt. Claude? 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 They really, she's really popular. Oh, they just took the clown outfit and they colored it black instead of color, black and white instead of just colorful and white. Well, he's got a red nose though. And he still looks drunk. <laughs> Look at those eyes. He's been awake for fifty hours straight. Bien le bonjour, mademoiselle. Bien le bonjour, Elizabeth. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment allez-vous? That face looks better. But I think that's literally just Elizabeth model. Bien bonjour, Elizabeth. Blonde hair. Or Anna model with blonde hair, I mean. Je peux vous vendre tous les livres que vous voulez. Et pour pas cher en plus. Price as well. Do you have The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton? Désolé, ma petite. Celui-là n'a pas encore not été been, écrit. But that has not been written yet. That has not been written yet. Oh, she's imagining all this, isn't she? This would be, is this 1912? France? When she's, she's imagining 1912 France after having experienced, I guess, the, the 60s it, with Bioshock? Hmm. Because I've become lost in your eyes. <laughs> oh, I may require directions because I've become lost in your eyes. Une baguette, mademoiselle. Okay, I think this is. I think she's imagining all this. Bonjour. Bonjour, Elizabeth. <gasps> oh, but 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 but. Let us dress the sky is blue and you're looking beautiful. I know Camembert. Super sticky. I only know that because of Miraculously. <laughs> Some things are best kept in dreams. Hmm. Huh. What if she actually went to Paris and realized it wasn't as great as she thought it would be? And this, this is her dream of Paris. This is what she imagines it's like. Oh, cutscene. Oh, this is totally... This is a dream. This is such a dream. Man, it's a songbird. Eh, get it? I think that's the pond they're going for. The bird or the cage. Why not have both? Yeah, bird of the cage. That would explain why there's so much pink birds flying around. Oh. Oh, is that Sally? Either that's Sally or that's Pennywise. Oh, yeah, she's got the doll. Saving, yeah. Sally? Yep, there it goes. Don't follow the clown. Sally! Evil clown's gonna get you. Sally! Don't follow the blue. <laughs> Mm. 
Watch out, Pennywise is coming for you. And it's a nightmare. Oh. Sally, wait. That's a nice touch. I like that they did that. Realizing that you're messed up because of the big gun you just got killed. Oh, look! Sally, stop! Looks on fire. I have no Sally, idea how she, how she expects to get out of Rapture without a book of wit. Sally, hold on! And he was the big guns. Lobotomy. Oh. Hold on, I want to have a good look at is this. Oh, 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 nice. Things aren't stop, quite stop. as. Huh. Wrenches. Like the weapon in the first game. Oh, and look. There's a statue. There's the statue. It's all a dream. Wake up, Elizabeth. You have to wake up. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the heat thing. That's that, that she turned and hurt the girl with. Is she regretting that? Oh. I'm fairly certain whatever it was was your I fault. I didn't do anything. And that's the problem. You didn't do. No. No. Did you get no. Sally killed? It wasn't it's my fault. Very impressive. Leave it's me alone. very Leave hard to kill a little sister. It's I'm very sorry. hard to kill a little sister. I'm sorry. I never should have left. Did you? I never should have left you there. Did you leave her in? In the burning grate? Or are you talking about something else? Or did you leave her in rapture? Once you got your revenge against someone who didn't do any wrong to you? Did you just leave her in rapture? Oh. Oh. Here we are. Empty. Lonnie. Empty again. What are the odds? <laughs> What's the hold up? Just Atlas. Atlas. This ain't Atlas. a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right, all right. Let her go! Right now, oh, wow, he's an old man. White hair. Elizabeth, tell them you can get him back. Booker? What? <laughs> She's gonna be haunted by Booker? I don't understand. <laughs> What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan Oops, on sorry. doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city, they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. Lonnie, you jerk. You didn't have to punch me. <laughs> what? Over here, on the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. What have I got 
gotten myself into. I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. But she made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Oh. Had to be done. Did it? Ah. Everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. In Comstock, that final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. No, seriously. Yeah. He ran away from his guilt. But he forgot everything. He was a new man. Again. Yeah. Or he was the same old person he always was. And that little girl. She meant the world to him. You didn't care. What was the whole point of this? Just to make him remember then kill him? I guess that's the debt, huh? You didn't want to just put a bullet in his head. You could have let him die at any time. You wanted him to suffer. I feel sick playing this awful character. Yeah. Why is this glowing? Oh, I'm climbing. Mm -hmm. Why can't I run? Come on, I'm in the game proper. Why can't I run? The way out was busted, it seems. Ah, uh, that's where I'm going, I guess. Okay, I can... I can, uh... Why does she have no plasmids? Alright. I don't think you were. I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What he was is. I, I was in Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me, Elizabeth. I ain't even here. <laughs> Haunted by your guilt. How many Book of DeWitts are you gonna get killed, huh? Yeah, no, that was totally a dream. Where did the Lutesses go? Did they just show up for one last ha ha ha? Screw you. Is that it? I mean, that's totally something they would do. So yeah, that's probably What are you? Huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? That's a good question. Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself a little bit. I feel I feel strange. Yeah. Smaller. I can't see the doors. It's behind I was wondering the doors. about that. I can't see the future. I can't even see any yep, tears. There you go. That's what I was wondering. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. S stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. I died here. Yep. Yeah, just I what you deserve. Stay away from me! Just what you deserve. But then, how am I here? How can I be dead in this world and yet... Oh... Oh, I oh! What am I? Huh? I don't understand. I, I. If we're going to end up at the same place, we don't see the harm in enjoying the ride. Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things, but after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a mm. fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. <laughs> so was Newton, especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. 
She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. Oh. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back mm. to where she doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. Doesn't belong? Hmm? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? I guess I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. Just like the rest of us, says the two immortal Schrodinger beings that just pop in and out of existence. Ah, okay. You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So mm. I could punish mm. Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... I oh. don't make that right. We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean not always a lighthouse. <laughs> the Lutesses warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. Collapse. From a, a quantum superposition to just me. The quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. Peter, it, if I can't open tears, I'm... I'm never leaving here, am I? Uh, I I'm never going back to Paris. I could see you, I could see you getting back. And you, you're just... You're, you're just what? You're, you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds? Decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. Okay, that is going to have to be the end of this episode. Oh, so much to say, so much to think about it. All right, <clears throat> I'll see you on the next one. Have a good evening, everybody.